every character um, that I use, and by character I mean letter, number, symbol, etc., um, has a numeric value behind the scenes that it's working with. So actually a char can be cast directly to an int, and an int can be cast directly to a char to uh, get various symbols. And to show you how this looks, I've made two chars here, one called little a, one called big A. If I want to see what the actual number value or integer value behind the scenes of each of these letters is, I can just cast it as I print. So let's cast little a, um, and let's do the same for big A. Uh, um, I'll show you what that looks like. So my little a has a value of 97. My big a has a value of 65. Um, I don't have to go through these steps to actually see what this is. So if I go to Google and just type in ASCII, A-S-C-I-I -I, table, um, it will find an ASCII table for me. And you can look at one of these. And what you're looking at, um, the, the symbol that shows on the screen is in red here under CHR. And the equivalent ASCII value or integer number value is what's listed under DES. So I can see, like, on this chart that a space has a value 32, an exclamation point is 33, etc. Um, so I can check out what all these things are. I don't have to, like, test each one individually in my code. Um, so that chart is helpful as you're working with uh, using ASCII values to manipulate text. So the nice thing about strings is that every piece of a string is actually a char. So I can do some transformations based on these ASCII values. Um, so let me make a string that says hello. So say, for example, I wanted to change this guy to all uppercase. Um, I can do that by iterating over the string and doing some math on each of the letters. So if you remember just a second ago, we saw that a little a is 97 and a big A is 65. So all I have to do to make a lowercase letter uppercase is subtract the difference between those two things from it. So uh, 97 minus 65 would be 32, right? That's the difference. So if I were to loop over my entire string, so I'm starting at the left hand side, which is zero, I'm going up to this guy's length, but not including it, and I'm visiting one character at a time, I can say, take the letter that's at that index and subtract from it 32. And by the time I'm done, every letter in that string should be capitalized now. So let's verify that that happened by seeing it out. Yep, there's my uppercase hello. So I can basically use these ASCII values to do some little manipulative things to my strings. Um, and capitalization um, is, is one of the things that I can accomplish.